up goddamn soda bottle, right? But when you yeah. die, you take the cap off. You get what I'm saying? When you and die, you just take and then you come out. Now you don't know you don't you don't absolutely know what's gonna happen when you come out. You don't even absolutely know what kind of form you're gonna come out. You may come out like a liquid form and just go into the ground, or you may go straight into the air and evaporate and be in everybody goddamn breathing system. You never know. This is what I'm saying. It's like till you're this is what energy is sort of like that. You can't the energy don't die. The energy is recycled. That's what the pyramids were left behind for. Tell them telling us about zero point energy telling us about like it's like a, a a soul recycle system you know what i'm saying the bible talks a little bit about reincarnation but it only talks about that with one person so if someone to tell you that hey this person is a reincarnation of such and such from back in the past in a different body you probably believe that but until they tell you the god-given facts right like okay for instance there was a story about this guy this guy was a milkman listen to me bro this hit right here is fucking 100 real truth and you can google it what i'm gonna tell you right now about this story right because it made cnn all right this guy he died way in the past he got shot he was a milkman he used to ride uh with the bicycle or whatever this was like an old story old old I don't even know what year it was, but trust me, when the motherfuckers were riding on bikes delivering milk, it was old. Yeah. So, Hello, glass containers. Yep. I hear you. So his boss man had provided him with a, a home to stay on the land. It was like a trailer joint or whatever. And he had a he had like a wife at the time and he she was pregnant with things yes. or whatever. And he was staying at mom and dad that he got that or whatever situated that job and shit so he ended up getting shot by somebody some guy or whatever and i guess delivering milk and being in a yard or whatever and getting killed okay well long story short this lady had a baby maybe like 15 years no it's more than 15 years <laughs> but this lady had a baby right when she had a baby the little boy got to the age of four years old and started telling his mom the same story over and over and over about basic ass life. And it got to the point where between the ages of four and seven, he still was telling the same story with more detail and talking about he had kids, saying he had twins, saying his mother's name, saying that he, you know, where he used to stay at, to the point where the mother said, you know what? Either my child is delusional as hell, or I need to goddamn Google this shit and do my own little investigation. So that's what she did. She Googled it. She Googled who he said he was. You know what I'm saying? She got all that information, and then she found out that this person was literally real and actually died this way and everything. So she's a hard down Christian at this point. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. She's a faithful. Christian at this point come from a Christian family at this point you know she she's not definitely not going with the you know what the kid is saying so she's taking them to the church taking them to the pastor trying to get answers from them they can't they can't get they're telling her look yeah this make you know and God and what so to speak because they supposed to be the higher ups when it comes to religion but they're telling her get government assistance get government help go to the prophets you know what I'm saying because they can't do nothing about it. So it's like, boom, you can't pray about this situation. So you're trying to figure out what the hell is really going on. Okay, what really is going on is the kid is reincarnated from the past. You feel what I'm saying? So the kid turns 13 years old. Long story, right? The kid turns 13 years old. Mom finally got to the point where she had enough money put up and everything like that. So she takes the kid out to where he says his grand. He says his mother stayed at because when she Googled the address where the house was, where his mother was at, the house yeah. was still there. So they figured they'd take a road trip and they'll go out here, take him there so she can be absolutely sure. You feel what I'm saying? Turns yeah. out they pull up to the house. They pull up to the house. There's the grandmother, his mother, and this is who all lives in the house. The, the, the mother answers the door. The wife of his lives in the house as well, the daughter-in-law. 
and the twins live in the house. You know, the grandbabies and also the grandfather, but the grandfather is pretty much uh, Damn, good hand. Yeah, <laughs> 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 hey, I looked at that shit real quick and I was like <laughs> Damn. I had to analyze that shit, you feel me? <laughs> oh, fucking shit, bro, that's crazy shit. Go ahead, Lo, I'm listening to that shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's like, long story short, long story short. <laughs> <laughs> For real. <laughs> Now that story long, bro. God, but I'm listening. Come on, now, come on. Now. I wanted to give it to you. I wanted to keep you drawn in. That's why I kept giving you that. So, uh, <laughs> so right, check it out. But I think so, so what happened? So, so uh, mom, mom, grandma, his mom opens the door, and you know, father's really sick at the time, and shit like that or whatever. So she's at the door. The 13 year old, 14 year old kid and the mother's at the door. And they're like, you know, my mom at the point is doing all the talking to his old new mom is talking to old mom at the time about their son. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because her her son died 